My name is Andrew McElrath, and I work with an energy healing modality called biofield tuning. Biofield tuning works with tuning forks on the body and the electromagnetic field that surround it. Electromagnetic fields that surround organisms actually have a structure. So if you've ever looked at an image of metal filings with magnets, you may have noticed that it's in the shape of a donut with a negative polarity at the bottom of the axis and a positive polarity at the top. The human biofield extends about five to six feet outside of the center point of the body. What's been found is that inside the biofield holds the records of the organism. So similarly to a tree where the outside bark is the most recent record and the inside core of the plant or the tree holds the records of the origins of the organism, the human biofield is a little different in that the outside of the field holds the records of birth and gestation and the inside or the center point is recent or present time. So when we work with folks, we use a process called combing or columning. So if an individual is about 40 years old and uh, around 20, they experienced a significant loss of a family member when someone has passed, we're probably going to find the middle point between the outside of their field and the center point. But there's probably some distortion there or a density. Sometimes this can show up as an audible sound in the fork. It may sound literally a little sad or have a low drone to it. And as a practitioner, I'm also able to detect or pick up some information that's related to it. So our bodies inherently have a mechanism in this process to auto-tune or auto-correct. So by identifying the distortion or heaviness in the field and having a little bit of a dialogue, as well as the coherent input of the fork into the body, it's able to auto-correct. The idea is, is that we're bringing in these parts and pieces that have been fragmented, that occur in our lives by emotional trauma or events that haven't been fully processed. So by gathering or combing these parts and pieces, we're actually able to bring into the center point into our bodies and in our energy fields. So we use this seven chakra system or energy centers and allow this to come back in using the forks. We're able to drop or reintegrate that energy back into the body, becoming more whole. And then through columning, we extend that coherent energy and bring it out to extend externally to the world around us. What's miraculous is when you work with the forks and column up, through the chakra, the tone changes, it shifts, it becomes pure and absolutely beautiful. A couple of elements of this work that I find particularly fascinating is that some of the patterns that we find as we come and go through the process actually have an ancestral root. What research has indicated is that ancestral memories can actually be transmitted through the DNA. So if trauma has occurred several generations back, it actually can be expressed in the present time in the descendants of people that are connected to that genetic memory. So the potential for this work to shift all kinds of things for individuals is pretty significant. It's been a great honor to learn this technique and to share it with clients. The shift that I see in individuals is absolutely amazing. They feel lighter. You can see it in their faces and their eyes. And things just become lighter energy moves and things just flow for people in ways that they may have not been able to shift before. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch and listen. I'd be happy to share this work with you.